All right, guys, this is, uh, I guess, the third uh, video on my 928S4 intake manifold uh, rebuild series, mini series, if you will. Um, quite a few of you guys uh, have reached out and asked uh, to provide sort of a, a list of all the parts and kind of a, a sort of a quick look at all the hoses and items that need to be included when you remove a 928 s4 intake manifold and rebuild it um, so what i've done in front of you here is really a summary of all of that i have all the hoses required for the pcv system um, the crank ventilation system um, the fittings associated with it um, all the gaskets um, everything related to um, the idle circuit. Uh, also the sensors, um, I also have in front of you as well. So what I'm gonna do is kind of walk you through everything. Um, what I did guys is I printed out, if you go to, um, I believe it's Porsche USA's website, they have a classic section on that website. And if you go to that classic section, you can, actually save on your hard drive a pdf of all the part numbers to maintain and support your 928 doesn't matter if you have a s1 all the way right through to a gts they have everything it's the most incredible pdf it's free and i keep a copy of it at home a copy at work um, on my laptop and it's a great reference to have for two reasons one is you get the exploded diagrams that show you how things go together and i'll walk over here and kind of show you that so here is the intake manifold on my s4 so you get all the exploded diagrams how things go together so that's the top side of the intake and this is the bottom side of the intake kind of where the your throttle body connects into and all the hoses and then Along with that, below the, the diagrams, Porsche are kind enough to give you the part numbers. So if you can see this, you can see the part numbers on the left column, part number, and then you can see the description on the right column. So what you can do is uh, make a summary of everything that you need for your rebuild. And that's what I do on all my projects when I work on my 928. So the 928s4 intake manifold is very involved there's a lot of stuff as you can see and i'll just kind of give you a quick scan this top sheet or this top page shows uh all the sensors you need so it shows the crank position sensor which is number six and then your knock sensors there's two of them they're number eight so you see everything that i needed i just circled in red and then i went over to the um the table and then reference the part number to price it and make sure I got the right parts. So again, so here is the sensors, the top sheet. The next sheet below that, these are all the vacuum lines. So in this case, I needed all brand new rubber elbows. So you can see that's number 10. So I ordered a whole bunch of brand new elbows. Um, so that was ordered on that sheet. Then the second or the third sheet, sorry, this is started getting into the larger items like all the gaskets. So you can see all the gaskets I have labeled uh, in red, you know, the sixes, the eights, the fifteens is the grommets. The grommet is 15. And the good thing is when you go over to the tabular summary, the table, Porsche also tells you how many you need. So for example, on these grommets, number 15, you'll need 10 of those guys. So um, it's good to, to have them side by side. And, uh, and then going down to the last sheet, this is the underside of the intake manifold. Again, this is where you see all the hoses and clamps and everything else that is on the underside. So I hope that helps. So when you're planning your intake manifold rebuild, definitely have that PDF open and keep referencing it and making sure that you've ordered all the right parts 
because trust me, you only want to do this once and do it right. I spend the money once and the time. It took me about six to seven weeks to actually, from start to finish on my car, um, to get it all done. Uh, some of that was related to some of the hoses were back ordered from Germany with COVID-19 and supply chain issues. So I had to wait quite a while. Um, so that was part of the delay. The other thing that I do, and this is a very important sheet, I put together a Microsoft Excel sheet that shows all the items that I've bought. So you can see the description that I put together here. And then um, the part numbers from the PDF I just talked about. So then I go down, you can see everything that I need is on here. And what I do guys is I, I shop around a bit and try and support all our vendors. So I didn't buy everything from just one vendor. I kind of shopped it between three or four vendors. And I recommend you do the same. By me doing so, I, uh, I was saved about, I would say four or $500 maybe, approximately, um, as opposed to sole sourcing it from just one vendor. So anyway, um, you can see there's a quantity column here as well. So it shows you what, how many I need of the particular item. Hope you can see this in the video and hopefully the GoPro picks it up, but you can see everything that I need on here and probably a good time to pause uh, the video. So that way you can get a better idea. Um, and then you can see right here, I keep a, a running total of you know what I've spent so the the numbers at the bottom if you add that all up uh, the colored cells that shows you uh, what I spend in total I think on this rebuild it was about fourteen hundred dollars all said and done for all the parts um, I'm gonna walk you through all the parts which is basically I'll show you what's on this spreadsheet I'll show you all those parts here now so there are no particular order that I've really laid them out, but uh, anyway, let me let me just say before I get into that, please go ahead and replace your fuel lines while your intake manifold is off. Now is an incredible time to do so. I had no idea that my fuel lines were so bad, and I'm going to show you how I dodged some bullets. Look at uh, look at this fuel line. Can you guys see this these cracks? That that's how bad they all were. So this was kind of a fire waiting to happen. And uh, this is the original fuel line from 1988 on my car. My car is 140,000 miles. So I replaced three fuel lines and uh, two out of the three lines are available from Porsche. One has, the third one has to come from uh, two vendors. So you can shop it. Here's, here's one of the vendors, 928 Taurus. Um, so you have a choice of getting it from, from Roger or from Precision Motor Works in California. Um, so your call. Here's the other fuel line. Uh, I actually dismantled it because I was going to build my own line. And this is the line that goes from the cooler. No, sorry, not the cooler. This is the fuel line that connects the two regulators, fuel pressure regulators at the back of the engine uh, where they sit adjacent to the firewall. I took it apart because I wanted to see how they built it and was thinking I would make my own line at one point. So this was a complete line at one point before I took it apart, but the rubber was starting to delaminate and crack like this. So if I'm scaring you, it's I hope it's for a good cause because you really need to check those fuel lines and the only way to really inspect them is to take that intake manifold off. Um, so here's a part number for that uh, fuel line there. Um, the rest of the parts, okay, here is the crank position sensor. I cursed enough about that in, in the previous videos. That's a crank position sensor, what's left of it. That was a nightmare to remove. And so there's the CPS. Hopefully you guys have better luck than me removing yours, but mine was probably the most uh, challenging uh, part of my, of the 928, of the intake manifold rebuild. So that's the intake manifold, uh, the crank position sensor, sorry. Talking too fast. Uh, and then moving down to the hoses. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven rubber hoses that need to be replaced. Again, it's, it's shown right here. And so all these rubber hoses have to be replaced. My hoses were not too bad, but they were starting to get pretty hard with the heat. And this particular one, which connects to um, the idle air, it started to split. Can you guys see that? So it was just starting to split. So I was on borrowed time with this one. So glad I replaced it. And then on the PCV fittings, you can see this particular uh, Y fitting. It, it's, uh, it was, it's cracked or broken. And the hose was just basically hanging on for dear life when I took it all apart. This one was okay. So definitely get new fittings. Um, I also removed my oil filler neck. So you'll need a new gasket there. That's what this guy is. Um, here are the two gaskets needed and the part number um, for the underside of the intake manifold that connects into the throttle body. You can see it sort of look, looks like a, it's a, a turned, a turned piece with the two ovals. So those are the gaskets for that. Um, here is the part number for one of these two plastic fittings. I can't remember which one. Uh, here's a part number for the rubber elbows for the vacuum lines. Um, and then right over here, these are the intake manifold gaskets. They're rubber. Um, these were the ones that I had to wait weeks and weeks for, like four weeks. Um, they used to be available aftermarket from Victor Rains no longer available you can only buy these from porsche and so there none there were none in the country when i um rebuilt my manifold so i had to wait quite a long time for these and then here are the grommets there are 10 five per side that you'll need to order that secure the uh, intake manifold into the head and then the of course the fasteners go on top of that with a, a crown washer so that that's the gaskets these are the two knock sensors uh, i bought these uh from an ebay seller and they were not too bad in price okay um i also went a little bit extra a little further i guess and i replaced the uh, idle air valve, um, the, the diaphragm, which is right here. I replaced that guy. And uh, here's the idle air as well. I replaced this as well. Um, there was nothing really wrong with this, but I thought while well, I had it all apart, let me go ahead and swap it out. So this will just be a good spare to have. And so I'll keep that. And here's some other part numbers for some of the hoses. Hope you can see that and here's the other one and the last one so anyway i hope this video helps um been a been a long time coming um sorry for the wait but hope this helps uh you guys in the future with with any of your uh um intake manifold projects and best of luck if you guys have any questions uh drop me a line Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and like, and uh, we'll see you the next time around. Take care. Bye.